Hey guys, so it is Sunday. It's the start of a new vlog, which I actually have to edit my other vlog to get that uploaded today. Shame on me for not doing that soon enough. I am eating cake pop, by the way. But it is Sunday, the start of a new vlog, and this week is Italy week. I go to Italy on Tuesday, so things are kind of like moving fast. Um, but yeah, I did want to go and get this vlog kicked off. I just got done with church and then we did get Starbucks. Of course, I got my, oh, oh, and a shame that that I spilled on me. Matcha. I got my matcha. Oh, um, my Carter, matcha. stop, baby. Mommy's trying to record, baby. I got my matcha. Yeah. No, not yours. I got my matcha. Um, I got my matcha. Carter got his own matcha too. Which I like to credit the fact that I turned him on to matcha. But like I said, today is the start of a new week. So I am excited. All of the excitement is coming for Italy. So that's all I feel like I've been able to think about. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope this week is starting off great for you guys. But what I need to do now, I need to finish editing this video. I need to contact Amazon because they, I don't know what it is, but those like individually like contracted people from Amazon that deliver your packages, they don't seem to make any type of attempt for delivery. And they did the same thing again this week that they did last week. And now I need, like they're gonna try again, but I don't wanna, I just don't wanna run into the same issue where they don't like deliver it. Um, but regardless, we're gonna have a good day today. We're gonna finish getting stuff packed um, and ready to go. I feel like I can't think. I'm like so excited, but I'll catch you guys in a bit. Probably later today because I seriously need to edit this video. Good morning, guys. It is Monday, which means it's right the day before I travel to Italy. I literally just got up. I haven't even brushed my teeth yet, so I probably need to, I need to do that soon. Um, but I just got to like packing my travel bag, which I thought I finished packing that, but I'm still kind of like having to get some small things here and there, so. Um, that is on the list of things to do today. I have a few pair, like tickets to print out because they require it to be printed out. I don't know why, but I need to do that today. I need to pick up a few small things from the store, and then I also need to get my nails done today. And they look not bad, but they're growing out, so I'm probably just gonna go with this kind of like same uh, set again. Um, so yeah, seems like there's not a lot to do today, but I'm sure as the day keeps going, I'm going to have more and more stuff to do. So I need to go ahead and get on it. And sorry for coming to you guys with my bonnet on this morning, but I literally just hopped out of the bed and started packing. So yeah, I will check in periodically throughout the day. Um, just kind of like give an update, but right now I'm just going to finish packing my travel bag, making sure I have everything, perfumes, lip gloss, books, whatever the case is. So I'm going to go ahead and finish getting that packed. Um, and then just get dressed so I can head to the store and get whatever else I need. Okay, so do you guys remember that um, blue swimsuit that I showed you guys? Like in the last vlog? So I got it from Aerie and I picked it up obviously on Wednesday. Now they're saying part of the order is delayed. So the bottom half is not ready. So I won't be taking this Italy. I'm kind of bummed because I thought it was going to look like really pretty in Capri. But whatever, it's fine. I'll have to figure something else out, but that is obviously canceled. I need to figure it out though because I don't want them like canceling my order when I'm like out of town. Okay guys, so I am kind of ready for the day. The new hair just looks amazing. I'm gonna get something to eat really quickly um, and then make myself like probably a matcha. I think I wanna try like, there's like a dirty kind of matcha um, on the Javi recipe, like the site. So I'm probably gonna try that and then head out. I have a few things, like I said, to pick up. Lip liner might be one, but it might not be because I think I might have what I need. I need to get some soap, um, setting spray, and then I need to check out my list again. But just a few small, just a few small things. The things are coming to along pretty nicely. So let me show you guys my suitcase, and I feel like it's gonna weigh. I feel like it's gonna be way over 60 pounds or 50 pounds. I think is the limit, but. I can't do anything about that. I'm gonna be gone for two weeks, so. Anyways, um, let me get myself together and I will see you guys in just a moment. This is way over 50. I just know it. 
I'm trying to look up a recipe for the vanilla dirty matcha. Here we go. Okay. I don't even think I have all of this that I need, but we're gonna try to figure it out. I just need, it looks like I just need matcha powder, water, vanilla extract, almond milk, the concentrate, the syrup, which I don't have, so I'll just use honey and then like some ice cubes, so. Sounds like a regular way to make matcha, literally, so I'll just dump the concentrate in and kind of see how that tastes. I've never had a dirty matcha before, only dirty like chai, which you guys saw me make like a few videos ago. Um, but we'll see, I'm interested to know what that tastes like. I'm a huge matcha fan, so we'll see if I like the coffee in it. But let me go ahead and make this um, and get on with my day. It's already 10.30 and I don't have too much else to do today. I do have to pick up a few packages, print out those tickets like I said, um, and then go to the store. I need to remember to get snacks. I'm not paying airport prices for some snacks. Um, what am I doing? Oh, putting down what I need to do. Print tickets, pick up Amazon, and Skims order. Okay, all right. Okay, let's try it. It's not bad, it's got an interesting taste. It's like an earthier kind of taste. Even though matcha already has like an earthier taste, the coffee definitely adds to that, but it's not bad. I would definitely make it again, especially if I feel like I need a little energy. So, and I just want matcha, but I feel like I need like an extra bit of energy. So, it's not bad. Amazon has officially pissed me off. So the order said that it was actually delivered and it wasn't. I went to the leasing office at my apartment and they said that it was there. Well, I went to the leasing office at my apartment because they said that it was initially there. I went, they said, we don't have any packages. So they said, go across the street to the apartment complex, check there. They don't have anything either. I really feel like Amazon, like whoever these contracted employees are sometimes, sometimes just don't maybe understand. And that's fine, but like communicate with me at least so I know like either to come meet you downstairs or whatever the case is I feel like attempts are not really made and they're just said that they're made but regardless I had to place another order to be here from two to six so hopefully it actually shows up um but yeah I just I don't know I don't know I'm just kind of over this so let me go to the store before I get too upset. <laughs> Cause I'm, mm. I'm annoyed. Shh, hold on baby. On the bright side though, people thought my braids looked cute. So at least I got that, but I'm trying not to be too annoyed right now because I'm about to leave tomorrow. So I just want to be happy. Y'all, I don't even know why I'm in like the swimsuit section, but like I have more than enough swimsuits, but this is so cute. Why is it so difficult to find like white eyeliner? Like I've checked everywhere, I checked at Sephora, it's like nowhere. And even when I ordered it, it didn't even come to me. I just, maybe I just don't need to get it, but I'm trying to find it here. I'm at Target right now. I just can't find it. This shouldn't be this difficult. I feel like people wear white eyeliner. Mm. Okay, finally found it. But $10? My gosh. 
Okay, so I'm actually thinking about purchasing um, another one of these just in case the one that I have today just like not show up. So I don't want to like be out of luck. Is that what you wanted to do? Don't touch your mouse on. Say hello. I'm touching my tooth. Say hey. Hey guys. Hello guys. I'm going to get McDonald's and Burger King. No, you're not. <laughs> I think I might go with these. So I've never actually tried this before, but I think I want to pack this just in case I need some like hand cream while I'm on the lotion. Or, oh my gosh. Just in case I need some hand cream while I'm on the plane. You know what? Before I even buy these like those lashes, let me check and see like what the reviews say. Okay. Because I'm not gonna buy these if these are not good. Mm, these reviews don't seem like they're really doing anything. Didn't work, not the best. Mm -hmm. My use didn't work. Mm, they're kind of mixed. <laughs> All right guys, so I am back home from the store. Let me show you guys what I picked up in just a second. I, um, my spirits feel low right now. I just, I don't know. I thought I would feel like more excited right now, but right now I kind of just feel a little overwhelmed and sort of disappointed. And I really don't know why. <laughs> I think I'm just having to mentally prepare myself for the traveling I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. Um, which is fine, like I want it to go as smoothly as possible, but I don't know. I feel kind of nervous about it. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But let me show you guys what I picked up from Target. I need to actually put these energy drinks. My camera actually cut out when I was in Target, so sorry about that. It didn't cut out, but it died. But let me go ahead and put these energy drinks up. I did pick up a few energy drinks for when I'm back because I know for a fact that I'm going to be like dog tired. Um, so yeah. But I got the Alani that I normally get, like the Cherry Slush, which I can't seem to find the peach one, but that's another story. Um, Cherry Slush is probably one of my second favorites. And then I did pick up the Kiwi Guava. I was let down with the Kiwi Guava from Celsius. I did not like how that tasted, so I'm going to try this. Um, and see if I like it more, which I'm probably assuming that I will. But let me put these up and I'll show you guys the rest of what I got. All right, so you guys saw me get the Dr. Bronner. So I just have these two little um, Castile soaps. I'm gonna go ahead and pack these up into my toiletries. Then I also got this Soap and Glory. I've actually never really tried their products. I've seen a lot about their exfoliator, but I've never tried any like products in their line. So I got this hand cream just to kind of store in my travel bag. So that will go in, oops, <laughs> that will go in there basically. Um, and then I also got this Tide pin um, in case there are any stains, picked up a lint roller, and then I finally found the white eyeliner that I have been looking for and that was never delivered to me. So picked that up and then I also got this white bralette um, that I saw because I'd been looking for one and I hadn't been able to find one that kind of fit the bill of what I wanted and I think this is gonna kind of do what I need it um, to do. It came like in a set with like some briefs, but I didn't need that. So just pick this up and then I have my Skims bralette um, that I'll try on just a bit. I'm probably not going to try that on, on camera just because I don't, I'm not going to have all that out. But um, yeah, that was what I got from Target. So I should officially be good to go. I didn't get any snacks like I thought I was. I just, I don't know. I feel like I have too much stuff in this, uh, uh carry on bag anyway so i don't feel like like bringing a bunch of extra stuff so it is what it is it is done now and i am about to kind of just relax for the rest of the day i need to get this video uploaded because i didn't even get it uploaded yesterday and i feel really bad so i need to do that and then print out these tickets and like i said i'm just gonna relax for the rest of the day but yeah my package is supposed to be delivered today from amazon because i reordered those those lashes so i really hope that i can get it in time um, and in a reasonable manner. So we will see, but I will catch you guys here in a bit, um, probably a little later today whenever I get my nails done. Like I said, I'm probably gonna go with the same kind of like look that I have here, just redone and refreshed. All right, guys. So I'm literally just heading to the nail salon right now. Um, it is raining outside, so I'm glad it's close. 
Amazon package is finally secured. Nails are officially done, so I'm about to head, it's like raining outside. I'm about to head to the mall because I just got a text that the blue bikini I ordered that I told you guys was like delayed is like now at the store. So I'm about to head there. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys. I'm probably not gonna even bring you guys inside, but I'm just about to head there. But nails are officially done and ready to go to Italy. Hey guys, so I know I've been kind of like showing you guys some of this sightseeing um, that we've been doing here in Rome, but we finally made it in. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of get changed up, showered up, and kind of ready to kind of walk around the rest of the city tonight. Where we're gonna go, I'm not really sure, but let me show you guys the outfit that I plan on wearing. Okay, so gonna do this white bralette that you guys saw me pick up from Target, and then the orange pants. I don't think I ever showed you guys this, but I had this in one of my previous vlogs for like my birthday vlog, so I just got them hemmed so that they're able to actually like not sweep the ground while I'm out and about. Then I do have this purse that I picked up from H&M, which I'll link that season down below. But like I said, it kind of reminded me of like the Gucci, maybe like Chanel-ish type purse, which obviously it's not, but I'm gonna wear that with Janu Noir for a fresh like, kind of like evening scent. Um, and then these black uh, mules I love to wear, so. We're gonna have fun and we're gonna look hot. <laughs> so I will catch you guys here in a bit to kind of show you guys what it is that we do end up doing. But let me kind of show you guys around the hotel a bit. They have this really like, they have a window, but it actually opens, which like in the US, they don't usually open windows like for a good reason. But here it opens. So, you know, I can wake up and feel like a little Disney princess in the morning. But um, let me show you guys, hold on. So it kind of has like a courtyard area and then the actual window just opens up like this. Like how freaking pretty is this? And then you have this whole courtyard view. So yeah, that opens up. And then Oh, make sure that's closed. Okay. Then this is the actual room itself. It's kind of like kind of old money, kind of is what it gives me. The old money palace, ignore all the stuff on the bed, like Alana's has her stuff over here, my stuff's over here. Um, and then it's like one whole suite, which, hello. Um, and then we have like the whole chest area over here. Then coming through here, there's another room. There's kind of like a, not a mud room, but sort of like a closet to put your coats shoes, umbrellas, whatever they can say is an extra storage. Um, and then there's the second bedroom. <laughs> and then you've got the bathroom and the other bathroom. So it's pretty spacious. The ceilings are high. You don't feel like super closed in. So it's a really nice place. Um, but yeah, this is Rome. So we have another day here tomorrow and I will show you guys more of what we do then. But for now, I'm just going to get showered because that was a very long flight and we've had sort of a long afternoon out in the city which was fun um but it's time to kind of get like <laughs> freshened up good morning guys so it is wednesday or thursday june 8th the days are running together but we're also going to see if everybody's up um we're just gonna hang out another day in rome I'm gonna try to find a cafe to go to for breakfast. I got a croissant and a cappuccino, which sounds so good right now. It's actually 11.24, so we woke up really late, but the sleep was needed. 
Well, let's go see if everybody's up. But today's outfit, just have this bucket hat, um, silver hoops, this kind of bandeau type dress, and these white shoes. I'm just gonna take Oops, I'm just gonna take my kind of like Y2K, Y2K like sunglasses, which I think are gonna be so cute with those. And um, this purse that I picked up from H&M that I showed you guys sometime like last week. But let's go see if everybody's up so we can get the day started. Thank you. Thank you, Sadie. Oh, I like that. Alright guys, so we are actually, I don't know exactly the place, but we are still in Rome, and you guys can't see, maybe we are still in Rome, so right now we're just doing some shopping. Um, yeah, it's actually been a really nice day outside, the weather's perfect. We got paninis, if you guys didn't see it, it probably might be on the thumbnail. Sorry for the noise, it might be on the thumbnail, it might not be, but I did show you guys this shop. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna kind of do some shopping for a bit and then we'll probably go to either another park or just uh, at the hotel for a bit. But I will see you guys in a bit. Paris, small. Okay. Uh, very different to Disney Orlando. Okay. 15 years ago to Orlando, 10 years ago to Paris. I have four children. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, so we finally made it into, okay that's fine, we finally made it into a Amalfi, we're actually in like the Trani area and I'll show you guys the Airbnb here in a bit, but if you were ever coming up this way, be prepared, because we just walked up, I'm not even joking, like seven flights of freaking stairs, I'm sweating, I'm hot, We've been traveling all day, and I'm ready to get a shower and get cute, so that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to change, but I'll probably show you guys the actual outfit here in just a moment. But I am gonna shower for a bit. But yeah, the walk upstairs to this was a little crazy. <laughs> a little much, but it's fine, we're here. All right, so, scent of the day is Shirosa 62. I'm just gonna put this on for dinner. Um, I've already showered and gotten dressed. I feel so much better. Um, have my little cross earrings on that I did pick up and then this cross necklace. I've been looking forward to wearing this outfit so I'm so well, glad that I have it on. It's this purple kind of like royal purple shirt, a black bralette, white pants, and my favorite mules. But we're about to go get dinner. Carlton is actually not going with us, so it's just going to be like the girls tonight. So we'll probably have fun. Get a few drinks. I plan on getting the Amalfi spreads like the Apple Spits, the orange drink. Um, and then I'm gonna try the Hugo, which Alanis has been drinking a lot. It's like Prosecco, elderberry, lime, and mint. But we don't know where we're gonna eat yet, so we're gonna figure that out, I'll probably walk around, which I've actually been having like a really good time walking around and just casually figuring out where we're going to eat instead of having everything like completely planned. But we'll walk around a bit and I'll show you guys. Thank you. 
Well, yeah. I mean, like when you think about it, like Cecilia and all those places, like here, are, like, like known for living. This is even a big living. Yeah. Maybe a normal size. Maybe okay. This is like normal. That's size. like a normal size. That one's kind of big, but this one, it's ridiculous. This is insane. It's yep. Half the size of my head. Probably is the size of my brain. We'll let you do the honors and cutting it. Okay. Are they gonna? Cut yeah, up, I have very early no, guys. Really? We gotta take a moment of silence. What if this is fake? The whole I was about to say, what if he didn't want us to be cutting it? <sighs> it's real. What? What is this? I know it's gonna be bad. I don't think Because it's, it's so big. Is this a limit? Yeah. I think so. I think the core is so big. And you know, it's been sitting there for a while, too. Oh. You know when stuff sometimes <laughs> grows so <laughs> big? It's not. Okay. I can tell you it's plain, so I'll be the judge of this. Oh, you do? I love it. Victoria does too. How's your enamel? Yeah, that's what I was like. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want mafi? Do you want Thank you for awesome. Yeah, fun. Why didn't you talk that guy yesterday? That's what I was saying. So I was. I was like, I feel like you're actually. Because he walked up to you. He said, ah, oh, brother. <laughs> Okay, so it's actually Monday, um, June 12th, thank you. The lighting is not great, but we're on a boat right now. We're about to head to Napoli um, to pick up another one of our um, friends who's gonna be on the trip. But we're in Capri right now, so I'll probably show you guys more whenever we get to Napoli. I know that that's like my least favorite place um, that we've visited since we've been here, but there is a pizza place there that we're gonna try, so I'm excited because Napoli, or yeah, is like the hub or the origin spot, I think, for pizza. So I'm excited to try that. But I'll show you guys more whenever we actually get there. Hey guys, now we're actually heading on a boat ride. I just told him that man his eyes are so pretty. Oh, oh really? Hey guys. <laughs> Really? Uh, when somebody inside the tower see a parrot make a fire on top of the tower oh. for do a smoke signal, uh -huh. all other tower repeat the same signal. And that way can advise all the people live at the coast coming. Alright guys, so we are just finished up lunch, so we're about to head out back onto the boat. I don't know where he's going to take us, but I think we might go swimming. So if I can set my camera up to show you guys like the swimming process, that'll be good. But I changed outfits. I just put this scarf on and this purple bikini. Um, and it's kind of like cloudy, so I'm hoping that it doesn't rain too much. But yeah, so far so good. The boat's really nice, but it's rocking, so I'm going to put it down. So I don't drop my camera, but I will see you guys here in a bit. Yeah. I wonder whose yacht that is. It's huge, and I want to meet them. 
All right, so the swimsuit, this is the look. It did come from Fashion Nova, so I will link it down below. And then I just have this kind of like gray skirt to go with it. But I feel like a little mermaid princess. <laughs> this is perfect, I honestly don't wanna leave. I might move to Amalfi. Have you guys heard those people say like, anytime they go somewhere, they're like, I can see myself living here. I haven't said that yet, but I'm kind of at the point where I can see myself living in Amalfi. Maybe not long term, but definitely, definitely short term. Or at least like have a summer home out here. If God blesses me with that type of money. Also, our boat driver is like so cute and super nice. I am yours. You can do what you like. How do you say cheese in Italian? Salute! 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 Salute. 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 Okay guys, so today we are actually out in Milan. Um, we came here yesterday, so this is like the first day that we're gonna be here, but we're about to head to like a thrift store, which Alana said that there was gonna be like Prada, Dior, blah, blah, blah. It's like a higher end kind of thrift store, so we're gonna see what they have, but it's like for the fraction of the price, it's like not as much as like a Zara dress or some of their um, apparel. Um, so we're gonna probably head there here in a bit, so we're just waiting on the Uber now. I'll take you guys throughout the day just to kind of see what we do. I have been so bad about filming, so apologies for that. This video is probably going to be like bits and pieces of my time here in Italy at the different places, but yeah, I'll show you guys whenever we actually get there. Okay, so I'm like literally not finding a single thing, but they have like a lot of options. Um, Obviously, for designer markdowns, I'm just not finding anything that I like. Um, so we're probably going to head to another place probably before we get lunch. But just to show you guys what it is that they have, like a lot of it is like, it's from like, probably, I don't know how to like really describe it. It's like mid designer, but not necessarily like Prada, Dior, or whatever. Like I saw a few things from Versace, saw a few things from like Dolce & Gabbana. So it's kind of like that range, but... Um, I'm just not finding what I wanted and I initially came in here trying to look for a bag and when I go to thrift stores I don't really look for things or have like ideas of things that I want in my head I just kind of go just to see what's there so I'm glad I didn't have anything in, in mind like in particular that way I didn't come in with any expectations and be disappointed so I'm gonna keep looking around a little bit more but yeah it's a pretty cool it's a cool spot if you're somebody that's like really artsy and kind of put pieces together based on anything that you find I would recommend coming here but if you're somebody that needs like your stuff to be done basically for you and you just pair it together then I probably wouldn't come here but a lot of the stuff is pretty good um, pricing like seven euros ten euros kind of ranges I've seen something for like a hundred something euros but I haven't seen anything over that um, actually I'm lying I saw something for like 500 euros but <clears throat> for the most part it's pretty affordable yeah, if you're somebody that can piece pieces together, then I would recommend coming here. But to show you guys what I'm wearing today, if you guys don't remember, I showed you guys that Princess Polly kind of like one piece. This is it. And it's just like this creamish color. I want to get it fitted a little bit more, but it is a looser fit and I wanted that for when we were walking around town. Um, so it does have a little bit of a looser fit. There are kind of like thinner straps and um the back is out i think it's like perfect for like a day out on the town um as you guys see it's really like long i don't i'm not very tall so it's probably not gonna be very long on somebody who's like five five but but yeah that's today's outfit of the day
so right now we're in Poland Bear and I can't talk too much because of the music, but we're just gonna look around here. We went to Versace earlier in Zara, um, but we're just gonna look around more and I'll probably show you guys what we got when we get back to the hotel. So today we're actually in Venice, if you guys can even hear me. I wasn't recording yesterday because I did want to like just enjoy the rest of Milan, but we're in Venice today and we'll be in Como tomorrow. So I'll show you guys, of course, around Venice, but we just got here, so we're looking for something um, to eat right now, and then we'll probably just sightsee the rest of the little city. Okay guys, so this is just like the city. It's not really like a town that I'm showing you right now. We're kind of like on the outskirts, but we're just walking around and kind of figuring out where else we're gonna go. The color of the water is actually like better than I thought. I always thought Venice was like super dirty. But yeah. Lunch was good. I was telling them like I feel like next time I come to Italy, I definitely wanna be a little more intentional about where I'm eating and kind of looking at places that I wanna like try. Even if it is out of the way, I just, I don't want to go to like super touristy places because one thing I've noticed since I've been here is that as soon as you get off boat, ferry, car, land at the airport, there are going to be like tourist attractions there and I just have not been a fan. This is what happens. I would say when in Rome, but... On your shirt too. It's on the shoes too. Oh. oh. I mean, is it my face? No. no. It feels like it. No. Oh. Get in nah. um, Good morning guys, so today is another day and we're actually going to Lake Como today. I'm like in the lobby trying to get ready because I'm rushing. We actually have to request an Uber, which is another story and I'll tell you guys later. Um, but I'm just getting myself together, but we are going to Lake Como, so I'll let you guys rest up here while I finish getting myself together. I'm trying to go for kind of like a fresh look, so that's why I have this green top on and I also have like a kind of spicy summery perfume, which it's just this lavender perfume by Al Harmain, and I'm probably gonna double up with the Dolce and Gabbana light blue, just because I feel like, again, if you're not wearing this, you can create your combo. I don't know what you're doing. Okay. No, I hope it's so disoriented this morning. Like I started my cycle. And I kind of was contemplating like not even going, but I'm not gonna miss Como. <laughs> Quite honestly, I don't even know what we're gonna do when we get there, which is kind of been, like the same for most places we've been. Um, so I guess we'll figure out what we're gonna do. But yeah, I'm excited. I think this is one of the places I really wanted to go to before I even came. So we will see if it lives up to my expectations. Um, again, I've tried not to set a lot of expectations for these places because some of them have actually let me down. But we will see with this. But I'm just gonna go ahead. I have my Dior um, Lip Attic Lipstick or Lip Gloss and I'll just layer that on top of my lip gloss for my lip liner. Honestly, just gonna keep me everything simple which is exactly what I've been doing this entire trip because it is hot. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys a little bit more whenever we get there. Okay, you guys, so we're finally in Como, which I think I already told you, but I'm actually just walking around kind of exploring the city myself now, but it's like everything is kind of closed on Sundays. But we did sit next to this really nice lady on the way here on the train. Ooh, look at this. If I'm not dressed like this by like the next few years because I marry somebody rich, 
I don't know what I've been doing. Anyways, we're gonna be here for a bit. Um, of course, like I said, I'm gonna show you guys around some more. But we sat next to this really nice lady, which is what I was saying. We sat next to this really nice lady who was kind of telling us there's not much to do in Como. So we might take a boat to like another um, part of the kind of segment, or it's not an island, but we might take a boat there just to kind of see what else they might have. But it seems like a lot of stuff is closed on Sundays. So we'll just be here like chilling out for the rest of the day. But so far, this is my favorite place. I have a lot of complaints about Italy, um, but Como is just beautiful. Good morning guys it is Monday and we're about to head to Pisa um, I feel like I haven't been very good at vlogging this entire trip one because I kind of wanted to enjoy my trip but also like I felt like so much was happening in so many places I wanted to go and be in and just kind of be present in that I either forgot to pick up my camera or maybe I just did not feel safe picking up my camera in that area because it was just too much going on I didn't want to drop it don't want anybody like taking it whatever the case is but I do kind of want to provide like subtle updates and show you guys sort of the scenery of where it is that we are so this is probably going to be a chiller vlog um I'm saying that like almost at the very end of this trip but just if you made it this far that was kind of the purpose of this vlog but I will get back on to regular vlogs soon um but like I said we're gonna go to Pisa um, here in a bit. We had a pretty low, slow morning this morning um, just because most of our trains have been taking off or leaving at like 8.55 um, but today it's kind of leaving like at 12 so we had time to kind of rest, recuperate, get ready for the actual travel day um, and yeah so I'm gonna get stuff packed up. I have all of my stuff literally out. I'm kind of embarrassed to show you guys but I will so this is all the stuff that I have like out right now um, that I need to kind of put away. Not that, but it doesn't matter because it's still all this stuff up here. So I'm going to get this together, get myself dressed and ready for the day and ready to go. Um, and I will see you guys here in a bit. I don't know what my thoughts on Milan are. Um, I liked it. I liked it more than I liked Rome. Amalfi was nice, but the people there were very rude. I can probably do a little bit more of an update on my thoughts at the end of this video, probably whenever I'm home. Um, but I did enjoy Milan for the most part. I really loved Como. We went there yesterday, of course, but I will see what Pisa is like. I hope it's nice. I hope the people are nice and I hope I like actually enjoy it so I can at least come back to something um, or have something to come back to um, in the future. But let me go ahead and get this together because I know it's going to take me forever um, and I will check in with you guys probably on the train or when we're heading there.
Alright guys, so we are actually in Pisa right now. I don't know the exact place, but it's like not too far from the Pisa Tuscany area. But we got here like about an hour or so ago. So we're looking around for food right now. And I have to say, this is probably the cutest place that we stayed, but not the easiest to find like stuff that's convenient. So we're looking now um, just to get dinner and we'll probably relax the rest of the evening. We already got a bottle of Tito's as nuns actually walk across the street. I'm having to like hide myself from actually saying that, but we did get a bottle of Tito's and a bottle of wine, so we'll have that tonight and probably just relax. Um, tomorrow we're supposed to be going to like an outlet, like a luxury um, store outlet. So we'll probably hit that up. Um, but yeah, so far so good. This place is really cute and I'll show you guys the Airbnb whenever we get back. And it reminded me that I actually didn't show you guys when I was in Amalfi, so I'll have to do it for pizza. Hey guys, so I'm back and showered. Um, my face looks greasy, but it's not. Um, I'm gonna show you guys around the Airbnb because I said I was gonna do that before because I did not do that for the place in Amalfi, but I'm gonna do it here. Well, I'm gonna do it here. I don't know why I sound like that. Um, yeah, so let me show you guys. I'm gonna start with our room. Sharing a room with one of my friends, so um, it's kind of like deconstructed now, like everything is, so I can't show you the cute way that it was put together but i will show you what it actually looks like so starting off i'm gonna flip the camera around um, and show you guys the room okay so starting off it's just this door you know what let me actually get off and be nice let me actually show you guys from the stairwell so oh i love my tan i love getting tanned in the summertime it's like one of my favorite things to do but i am at the top of the step so i'll show you guys the bottom here after i show you guys everything that is at the top so for starters, you come up the stairwell, it kind of spirals up, and here we are. So, looking at this is kind of the hallway section, so we did get a few rooms. Honestly, this has like enough to sleep everybody in their own space, but I think everybody wanted a bed. Um, so coming to the left, this is the bathroom, which is very clean, which is the main thing. Um, and we have like all of our stuff put up, but yeah, this is the bathroom. We have obviously the toilet and the bidet and whatnot, so. You guys know what a bathroom looks like, but, European bathroom is nice enough to have a bidet. Anyways, 
Coming over to our room. So this is the room that we have. Excuse all the clothes that are up. We do have to air dry our stuff because there isn't a dryer here. But this is the room. It's got this beautiful bed. I say beautiful, but I just like the kind of shears that they have on it. So it has a bed like this. All of our stuff is on the bed. And then, you know, a few closet spaces. And then the most beautiful part is the view. And it opens up and you can see sort of the countryside of the Pisa um, space. Okay, I'm not gonna go into that room, that's Carlton's room, so I'm not gonna show you guys that. Um, and then we have this other room as well. This is the bedroom. Of course, two friends are sharing the space. And then they also have the kind of window that opens up so that they can see more of the view. All right, now downstairs. Okay, so downstairs, this is kind of the area. <laughs> Everything is out, but that is okay. We also have this little window thing that you can open and kind of sit in the window and pretend like you're a Disney princess, which I actually might do. So yeah, they have that on their stairwell, which I love with the windows they have here. It just creates a nice open feeling. It just feels more fresh. So then we have this couch area. That's my stuff over there, but you can sit over here. It's kind of like a little day bed. Then we have the second bathroom, which thank gosh, this one is clean too. Again, you've just got the shower, Toilet, drying rack, and everything else. Now, coming over to the kitchen, which you guys saw us cooking last night, and Alana and I are probably gonna cook again tonight. Um, but this is just the kitchen area. It's got a nice amount of space, I think, um, for like simple meals. Then we have this huge dining room table, which has all of our stuff on it, so you guys can see how messy um, it got. Of course, have to have the staple. Um, and then here is the living room itself, which again has more stuff, um, which isn't terrible. It's just like small things to get before we leave. Um, but yeah, it's pretty open, nice enough to be able to open these doors again. And it has sort of like the view again at the countryside. And it also has those doors over there in the kitchen. If you ever wanted to open that up and kind of have some fresh air while you are cooking or just enjoying a nice cup of tea. This is how it looks. Let me show you guys out here. So we did have dinner out here yesterday. Um, this is the backyard. These are all my clothes over here, but the backyard's pretty expansive. Um, really open and definitely creates a nice little view of everything that there is to kind of like offer in this area. So it's great. But I really like this Airbnb if I can find it, which I should be able to. I'll link it down below if you guys are ever coming to the Pisa area um, and you want to stay here. I think the area that we're staying in is Monopoly. Monopoly? Monopoly. Monopoly, I think is what it's called, but Monopoly. Um, I think it's Monopoly, which isn't too far from Pisa. It's like a 17 minute, 20 minute um, train ride into Pisa, the city area. So I would recommend checking it out. You do probably have to have a car, which we don't, but it's totally fine. But I'm enjoying it. I think it's a really nice place or a cute place. And I think it's really safe to stay, even if you're solo traveling, because I'm by myself right now. Um, and I have felt safe for the majority of the day. Oh, it's dark. Yeah, I am gonna probably get some rest um, before Alanis comes back. We, like I said, she's we're gonna cook tonight, so she's getting some of the groceries and whatnot for that. So I'll probably show you guys what we make tonight. Last night we had a tortellini pasta with like a tomato paste sauce, which I typically do the tomato paste sauce anyway, but this one was like better for some reason. I don't know if it's because the ingredients were fresher, but they just, it tasted amazing. Or because I didn't really eat anything yesterday. So anyways, today we're gonna have pasta alla Grisha. So she's getting the pancetta, or pancetta or, yeah, I think it's pancetta. Pancetta, um, pasta, and then the Romano cheese. If they don't have Romano, we're just gonna do Parmesan. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make that tonight and I'll probably show you guys the pastas, but I will catch you guys in a bit. Totally lied, that was not the end of this. Um, there is a separate room. So you come across the living room and then you come in here to the laundry room, which yay, nothing to really see. Um, and then we also have the kind of living space, which I guess you could put a TV up here, but I think it's nice to be in a spot if you're trying to get away and not you know, have those distractions. So it does have the couch, it's pretty big amount of space, we literally just threw all of our luggage in here. <laughs> um, and then again, it does have the view of everything, um, like the mountains and whatnot. 
Now that is officially it. <laughs> I'm not sure if I mentioned this before or if I did, but, ooh. I have a 12 hour layover in Chicago, so I'm already starting to kind of dread that, but I think it's gonna be nice because I'll get a lot of work done. This vlog is gonna be probably pretty long, um, which I haven't had a vlog in a few weeks, and I'm sorry about that. It's just been really difficult to kind of edit while traveling an entire country. <laughs> so I apologize about that. But yeah, um, I'm already starting to dread the 12 hour layover that I have in Chicago. Hopefully something comes of it, um, so we will see, but um, yeah, I am not looking forward to that already. So I'm probably gonna start some editing tonight um, just to kind of get everything loaded up in there and then just edit. I don't know why I'm telling you guys that, but I just, I have to actually say it so I believe that I actually have a 12 hour layover in some place. And as much as I'd love to like explore the city of Chicago, I'm scared to because I don't want to like go too far and then I miss my flight, um, so. We will see. My feet look so bad from all of this walking that I'm doing and I don't think I have the proper shoes for it. I'm not even gonna show you guys, but it's just, if you're coming to Italy, just make sure you're prepared. And I think for the most part I was, it's just these shoes, mm-mm, mm-mm. Walking upwards of five to 10 miles a day, no. Anyways, y'all, mm. I'm just about to relax for a little bit, read my Kindle, look at the countryside which is not the mannequins actually i could say that because i don't live in the country but i don't live with a view so i'll say look at the view but look at the view in the countryside of pizza um until we're about to make dinner but it's been an all right day so far kind of sad to leave but i'm also excited to see my baby so also excited to get back to you guys and get back to the regularly scheduled program i feel like i've been so off um and especially since i'm trying to grow my channel i'm trying to be as consistent as possible so please do hopefully accept my apology for the inconsistency the last two weeks but i promise i will get back on it um and yeah i will catch you guys like i said um whenever we have dinner Good morning guys, so it is actually Thursday, um, June 22nd, and we're about to head to the airport here in a bit, we're going to have a van come pick us up. It was our last day yesterday, so we are about to leave, and I have to say I am excited to go back home, but I got a text last night saying that my flight from London to Chicago was cancelled, so that pretty much chops everything off. Um, I did want to come on because the rest of the day I'm probably not going to be filming much, I'll probably talk to you guys whenever I do get to um, Houston, but I'm having to kind of not freak out right now because I don't know how I'm going to get back home. Um, they said that they were going to rebook my flight, but I don't see anything like to where I can accept that or like any updates on what that looks like. So I have to um, call the airline, which is never a fun thing. So just wanted to come back on and update you guys. I will talk to you guys here in a bit and kind of let you know how things are going. Hey guys, so I am back home, as you can tell. Um, I got in like about a few hours ago, but I'm about to end this vlog here because I'm actually a little annoyed. I, you guys know I had to change flights. So I had to change flights twice. One, because the flight from, like with British Airways from 
London to Chicago was canceled, so I had to change that, and they got me a flight from London to straight to Houston. Had to change that because I missed it from Pisa going into London. So I think within that, my luggage actually ended up getting lost. So I feel like I have a long day ahead of me trying to figure out what I'm going to do to get it back, but mm, I'm trying to like come down together, bring it all together and realize that everything is okay. I'll get my luggage back hopefully and they'll be able to locate it. But they said like when I checked online to try to track it myself, they couldn't find anything with that air tag. So I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it wasn't like my normal vlogs, but just to kind of see some of what I did see in Italy, some of the things that I experienced. Hopefully you guys got to see some things that you might want to try whenever you go there or visit. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to talk a little bit more about it, my experience in a separate vlog, but this vlog is just kind of like run way over, so I kind of want to go ahead and get it clipped, edited, and uploaded for you guys. But I will see you guys in the next one. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit the like button down below and the subscribe button so you can see all of my upcoming videos and to help grow this channel. But I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.